the name of the Father, the Son, and the Son of God. Amen. A very famous passage of the Bible, Luke chapter 19, Christ and the chaos. I'm going to read two verses and then as God will teach us. He said, Today I must stay in your house. And at the end he said, Today salvation has come to this house. I will read them again. Today I must come to your house. And the second verse is, Today salvation has come to this house. All of us in the past three days were watching Pope Francis visit and how when he entered a place there is something going on there. And I'm wondering how many of those who watch him face to face felt that you made my day. We say you made my day when the good news or something good happened in our hearts and our lives. But today Christ is saying to me and to you, today I have to come to your house and today salvation should come to your house again. Christ walking around, he was seeking everyone. He was seeking every soul. He's seeking to give life. And he said here, the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost or what was perished. And this is, makes sense according to the attribute of God as a life giver and as the controller of life and death. He is the only one who can give life. And life in us is consumed by death. So the life from Christ will consume death. And death here again is not a physical death. On that day, as on the same day today, everyone goes to his own way. The chaos was busy with his own life as a tax collector. He was busy collecting money, thinking that life is money. Like many of us are, sick, are struggling and going around for life for them is something else. Life is work. Life is success. Life is a race. Life is painful. Life is a mystery. Life. And many, as the Bible said, we eat and we drink because tomorrow we will die. On that day, it was a different day for Zacchaeus as it should be for each of us today. On that day, Christ told him, as he's telling you and me, today I must come to your house. And the house is the heart of each of us. This is where God should enter. And the heart is not the emotions. The heart is our minds, our heads. The heart is where everything of this life comes out. The Bible said, out of the hearts come the evil and also come what? The good things. So the case, they said, I want to see him. And I have no doubt that each of us have the desire, I want to see Christ. Like those who went, we would love to see the Pope. Today we have the, the bishop of our souls the Archbishop and the Patriarch and the Father of all the souls is with us, valid. The Pope will leave today. Our Heavenly Father and the High Priest never left the church. He is dwelling in the church. He is dwelling. And the word dwelling means he found rest 
in the church. And he is finding rest in your heart. My heart is full of troubles. My heart is unsettled. My heart is not comfortable. Today the king is saying, can I come to your house? What if the chaos said, no, I'm busy? Do you think Christ will go to his house? I don't think so. And that's the equation between our rule and God's grace. The grace is valid all day. Salvation is valid. Forgiveness is valid. The new life is valid. Have no expiry. Why? Because it comes from God. And God is a living God. But now who is taking the step like Zacchaeus and said, I want to see him. Look, his wish was to see him. Christ's valid salvation was to come to his house. Many are saying, I want to be a good person. Christ says, I want you to be like me. I want to go to church. Christ said, yes, come to church, but I want the church to move in with you wherever you go. I want to stop something. He tells you, I agree, but I'm going to give you something better than stopping something, doing something, what? For me. This is the validity of the salvation, renewing the life of every one. Now, today is September 27th. How many in the church will accept this invitation or will welcome Christ to their heart saying, I should come to your house? Look what happened when Christ entered his house. Two things happened. First, a public confession. I have sinned. I have sinned. And sin here is not what you are doing or what I'm doing. Sin is more than I am a deadly person. I need life. And life here, life in prayers. I need life in my Bible. I need life in service. I need life to give. I need life. Since the chaos enter, since Christ entered his house, he start to confess. And this is one step we should take all of us. That confession is not something you can do by yourself. It is accepting Christ in your heart and then you will see what he will do in our hearts. The second thing is, when he welcomed Christ and made this change, people start to gather and come into this house. Amazing service in the same day of accepting salvation, the same day Christ will use you to catch and get home others. I love this verse in John chapter 4. After the whole of Samaria believed in Christ, through the Samaritan woman. The people told her, we know, we know now, this is the savior of the whole world. Look how tiny was Samarit Samaria, and how tiny and little was Zacchaeus, and how great the use of God through this great grace. Don't think that you are short of statue like him. We are like this. But think of how the everlasting God can use the little of what I have to make it big. This is salvation. Today, I should come to your house. He's saying again to me and to you, today, today, now, I want to come into your heart. And look the evidence of what has given us to show what that today is valid. This is my body and this is my blood. Let us have communion. Let us have something common. Let us have something to make us in unity with him and with one another. This is communion. That the, something common, the life of God comes to be one with me. We agree together. And the second one, we are one together moving wherever he wants us to, to go. Today, Salvation has come to this house. 
Let us focus in our prayers. Today is valid. I love when the church sing every liturgy. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Made for whom? For you. And for me. For what? That he come and dwell in our hearts and in our life. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.